Welcome back to Galactic Science. This is episode 8, I believe. Now, this episode was going to be on airlocks. However, in preparation for that episode, I discovered that I reckon I've got enough resources to put together a tier 2 rocket. Right, and uh, while I was waiting for the uh, all the resources to uh, basically be processed due to the uh, rocket requiring a lot of compressed metals, uh, I went and uh, did a lot of work on the outside of the base, uh, just putting down a lot of compressed cobblestone because I've just, I just happened to have a lot of it. Took me a few hours, but it... Uh, I'm expanding on my idea that the meteors will not actually land on anything except uh, moon-based materials. I've yet to actually prove this to be false. All I know is I have not actually had a meteor land on anything that has uh, been not uh, moon-based material. So it's going to be an experiment either way. Okay, so tier 2 rocket time. For Firstly, we need a... <sighs> NASA workbench. It happens to be a quest too. Okay, so a crafting station, levers, advanced wafer. Ah, advanced wafer. That means I need hmm, a comparator, which is, if I'm not much mistaken, uh, smooth stone, Uh, some redstone and some sticks. Now you may be wondering how to actually get all the resources, particularly the uh, copper. Uh, stack is a little bit overkill. I only need three. Three? Yeah, three. I only need three for the uh, comparator because I only need uh, one of those uh, wafers, I think. Uh, I just need some sticks. Uh, yeah. To uh, get tin, for example, uh, let me see. The can of food that you're getting for quest rewards. Have a have a look at this. Uh, that one's actually a bit a bit full. <laughs> Let's go to this decomposer. You put that in there, and you get a lot of tin from the tins of canned food, and you also get a few other bits and pieces. But that amount of tin, I converted that in straight into metal. And I had something like uh, two stacks of tin food from my quest reward. So that was more than enough tin. The uh, copper I was able to get from the copper chest rewards that we were getting beforehand. And um, also, copper you can get from redstone. Right. So, let me see. Stone. Yep. That and that, and that. That's the repeater. Into the circuit fabricator. Now I just need a diamond. Just need one diamond. Just one. Thank you. I've also expanded my... Um, basically my sieving process by a bit more. And also, as a, uh, a side uh, note... I am now actually powering my sterling generators with butene, C4H8. It's a little bit of a balancing process between, well, basically, I'm using diamonds to decompose into carbon nanotubes, which is supplying my uh, carbon. Actually, I can just put that up in there. <laughs> so that's, that's my carbon supply. The hydrogen is obviously coming from water. It's a bit of a balancing act, but here it is kind of working. I've just got into a wallet, one hydrogen. Occasionally, it does tend to stall every now and then, but uh, the burn rate of the butane, butane is quite substantial. So I've got a little bit of time up my sleeve in, in, with, in that regard. Right, so that's that. Uh, what else did I need for this? Uh, crafting station, compressed steel for... Uh, oh, I need some more redstone. Uh, come on, let's run. Let's go. Let's do this. Um, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll take, keep a stack with me. i got a feeling I might need some more redstone anyway. Right, a crafting table. Check. Uh, two levers... Uh, check. Uh, 
One uh, redstone torch, which I need more sticks for anyway. Check. Whoop. I just got to remember these aren't the, the, these are not the crafting stations I'm looking for. Uh, and also I need four pieces of compressed steel. Right. So that will get me my NASA workbench. Ta-da! Lovely. I think I will sit him uh, about here. Hmm. Doesn't look very nice. Maybe I'll move it over one. Can I break this? I should be able to break this. Come on. There we go. Uh, whoop, there you are. Right, I'm going to stick it there. Ah, it looks a little bit better. Not by much, but a little bit better. Right. Now, unlock schematic. Right. We only got the tier two, tier one rocket here. To get access to the tier two, we do this. Four, five, uh, seven. No, I need nine of those. See, nine diamonds. We change it over into a block. Like such. And then we go to the quest book. Click to start. Show the quests. Um, let me see. Actually, going up in the world. Let's claim that. Uh, I'll pick that reward. We get some compressed aluminium as well, so that's nice. I could always do with some more of that. Right, then we go back to the quest book. And then we go to Space Willy Space Junk. We can do schematics. Okay, so we can get uh, all these workbench schematics by, by submitting. Um, oh, hang on. That's, I think, claim reward. There we go. That was a little bit weird, but we get all these nice, lovely schematics. A tier 3 rocket, cargo rocket, tier 2 rocket. Ta-da! See? We don't have to worry about schematics, do we? So, uh, go next. Go, we'll stick that one in there. The moon buggy as well. The tier 3 rocket, which I'm not really anywhere near. And the automatic cargo rocket. Back. So, tier 3, cargo, tier 2. Right, this is where the fun begins. Now, we for the Tier 2 rocket, it's going to be a massive amount of stuff. Is it Tier 2? No, it can't go T2. It's just a rocket. Right, uh, Tier 3, Tier 2. Right, heavy duty plates. We need 10 of these uh, here. Um, I also need, that's tier one tier heavy duty plates, uh, hang on, let's go through this. Oh, tier two, the heavy duty plates are something altogether different, but they require tier one plates. So ten there, we need uh, another two there, so that's fourteen, plus, um, four of, four by four, which is sixteen, so was the fourteen and sixteen, that's thirty, currently and uh, so I need 33 of the uh, well just basically the heavy duty to start off with so we've got that more we got adequately covered at least I think so right so go to the compressor compress 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 that's not doing its thing because I think you need to do this. There we go. It's running. So while we're waiting for that, we might be able to do some other things in here. Now, the, f the filled fuel canisters I managed to keep from other quest rewards. The uh, yellow wool is easy enough. Compressed meteor iron, I've got that. The yellow wool. Now, for the yellow wool, we need to, uh, an actual yellow flower. The best way I know how to do that is make some sand, make, make some grass to start off with. So uh, grass, which you can make with oxygen, silicon, and some cellulose. I managed to get some cellulose from uh, one of the tins, or a couple of the tins of food, I think. Now, is it just the one cellulose? Yes, it is. 
Okay, um, silicon might be a little bit difficult. Let's go back to my system, see if I can't pull some out of here. All right. So just, uh, I only need one silicon. I can't put it back in. <laughs> Whoops. And two oxygen. Actually, let's use it all. Right. Let's go synthesize, get rid of that. So the cellulose, the silicon, and the oxygen. There we go. Well, that's actually a lot of grass. Holy cow. Right. So we'll put our little patch of grass in. Uh, I don't know. Here, I suppose. And we'll go grab some bone meal and hopefully we'll get ourselves the uh, flower that we need. I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure this won't spawn space sheep, sadly. I would love to see space sheep. Right. So that's that. Let's go to my stores. And I don't know if I've actually got the wool. I might do. Yeah. Oh, two pieces of wool. Nice. Uh, let me see. Uh, bone meal. Here is to hoping I have enough. Well, here's, here's to hoping I get lucky. Uh, the answer to that is no. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Second try. Awesome. Two pieces of two dandelions. That will give me two dandelion yellows. Actually, I only need one. I only really needed one, actually, but I need more wool. Unless they can colour them this way. I highly doubt it, though. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> the two yellow wool. Done. Excellent. So, uh, one will also... So, let me see. Back to the rocket. Do, do, do. Tier 2 rocket storage. Just tier 2 rocket. Thank you. So, the boosters... Heavy G plate, compressed uh, iron, blah, blah, blah. Right. So I need two of those. Um, okay. Right, we're running into a little bit of trouble here. Just a little bit. Now the fuel, where did I, what did I do with the fuel? I know I've got it cruising around here somewhere. It's not in there. What did I do with it? Um, storage. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there, in the chest, I had everything prepared. What a doofus I be. Right. So, tier two rocket, stage one booster. Why can I not? Oh, of course. I can't shift click that. And also, I don't have the meteoric iron either so let's put that reward let's get let's clear the inventory clear it out I say because I need some space um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, let me think what did I need <laughs> um, that 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 there was something uh, Got the wool, got the iron. That's ah, oh, that's right. The meteoric, the compressed meteoric iron. Right. So those still can't do that. So uh, there we go. So I just need to make two of these. Can't do that. Let's do that. Done. That's one booster. And two boosters. Ah, ah, ah. All right, so two boosters. Great, fantastic. So boosters are done. Uh, next thing, say rocket bins. We need four of these. Uh, I think I just needed ordinary compressed steel. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I am going to be short. I am definitely going to be short. I need more compressed steel than I thought. What? Okay. Never mind. We'll take half and half of those. I thought that would have got me a little bit further than I could. Well, I did over prepare, so hopefully it's enough now. I've got my doubts. I've got some serious doubts now. I thought I had enough. But uh, we might be lucky. Six, I need eight. To complete the fins. Right, so that's the fins. Do 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 do. Right, that's not not all of the fins. All right, so that's the fin work done. Awesome. Now, let me see the tier two rocket. What is the uh, tier one rocket engine? More heavy duty plate, uh, button, uh, flint and steel. Um, yep, exactly. Hmm. I need some more steel to start off with. Well, we'll take a stack out of there. Because this will do the, do the trick. I've also got some uh, more iron there anyway. Oh, fiddlesticks. There we go. Right, now I just have to go grab a, a piece of flint, and that's that uh, portion of that done. I thought I had some smooth stone on me. I think I might have put that in another chest when I was clearing everything out. And in fact, I did. So I need one of those. So there's the button. The uh, flint and steel. Yep, good. Uh, what else did I need? Uh, let me see. Heavy duty plate, tin canister. Now, I think I got one of those somewhere. I'm not all right, then. I'm not really seeing it, unfortunately. Tin canister. Don't tell me I've actually... Oh, no, here we go. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Right, so that... Oh, uh, no, I don't have these. Oh, oh criminy. I've got a really, really bad feeling about this, guys. I mean, a really bad feeling. I'm going to run out of these, this stuff before I even know it. Uh, right... So that, flint and steel, button, oh, I need the other air grate, which I did prepare, oh, the oxygen vent, <laughs> it's an oxygen vent, not an air grate, alright, uh, tin canister, heavy duty plate, button, and flint and steel, done, so that's the engine. Um, uh, nose cone? What was the nose cone involved? Oh. Bugger. I have a really bad feeling about this, guys. That I'm not going to have enough. If I do, it'll be... It will be a miracle. So there's eight hours compressed. Uh, do 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 Eight there and one two three four five six seven eight two three four five six seven eight mm -hmm. i've got a bad feeling about this i've definitely got more than enough compressed meteoric iron i know that for a fact right or i might be getting that bloody close Okay, so, uh, nose cone, I need a redstone torch for a starter. 
That's that one. And boom. Done. So the, the nose cone is now created. Now, I, actually, uh, let me just check. The tier, no, it's a tier one rocket. I want the tier two. So I've got everything else. I just need the 10 heavy duty plates. So that, what have I got here? Five. Oh, I might be cutting it close. I think. I reckon. I reckon we got the rocket. It's going to be this episode. And the episode after that is pretty much looking at uh, fueling this thing, but... Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Right. Um, did I get that wrong? I think I did. There we go. Um, ooh, I. Mm. Oh, it is actually consuming more of. A, seems okay. Set of seven. Nine. Oh, one more. Okay, we, we can do this. We can do this. So we'll just go like that. We'll keep the compressed steel. <gasps> I'm out of compressed bronze. No. Well, let's get some more copper, shall we? Do I have any more copper in here? I got one piece. Of, I actually got a stack of copper. Hey. Right. This was the copper I managed to get from some redstone. FYI, and I think it's right there. Good, good, good. That's four. Okay, that's like a compressed steel in it. Oh, yeah. FYI. Butene's good for anything. <laughs> the compressors, anything you, you can possibly uh, think of. Right. So that's going to run. So, yep. That's, so you can get uh, metals by various means. So that's the copper. I just need... Uh, uh, do I have any tin? Yeah, I do. Good. Tin, copper. There you go. So that'll give me the bronze. And I've got the compressed aluminium. I can take my compressed bronze. I, can, I think I can quite happily go over and over into this one and actually do it. So, and this will give me the one that I need. Nope. It's going to insist that we do it the do it the uh, the hard way. The compressed aluminium. Oh, yep, good. <gasps> Whew. Right, uh, aluminium, bronze, and one more piece of compressed steel. Ho -ho! This is a great day. So, not even episode 10, I have a rocket. I have a rocket. So, probably by episode 10, we'll have an everything there and we'll be on Mars. Making a Mars expedition, getting dash and straight into Ender IO. Now, um, time wise, Sinking into it, uh, well, like uh, level the preparations between episodes and such, I reckon about 10 hours is pretty spot on. To getting a rocket, getting to Mars, getting Dash, Ender IO, Tier 2, fantastic. Straight into mass mining of planets. And then progressing on to the next tiers. Sounds like a plan. And uh, actually, <laughs> upgrading my uh, power supplies because I reckon with this, with like, if, if I get some capacitors and up this burn rate, I reckon I get lots more power. Lots more power. Right. Awesome. Let's make a rocket. Next, tier two rocket. Okay, we got our nose cone. We got our plates. Like that. We've got our fins, we got our 
rocket engine, the boosters. Ta da! We have. Dun dun dun! A rocket! That's right! And how I'm gonna squish my body into that little rocket, I don't know. But uh, there we have it! The tier 2 rocket! Next episode, probably going to be looking at a launch pad and a, a proper, I suppose, a tree farm. Better late than ever, I suppose. And uh, getting some oil, some fuel, and then it's on to Mars. I suppose, as a quick recap, I don't know if I actually... Whoop, let me get my uh, view back in. I didn't actually show you guys that I actually figured out the oxygen sealer. The problem I had with that, there was a small little uh, carpenter's block right in the back corner there. It was um, letting out the air. Now, I would much like an airlock, but let's go have a look outside, shall we? Uh, double compress. There we go. Let's have a look. What's going on up here? So I expanded out the little uh, room that we had back down here. Put some extra uh, leaves and such to, to help me uh, with my oxygen uh, production. Got a little bit of a platform out here to test the theory of, of uh, whether um, the meteors will land on anything else and the blast resistance of double compressed cobblestone it could be enough who knows but this has been a great day and i'd like to thank you all for joining me in my adventures in galactic science we shall see you next time